was thinking about uh, why wouldn't I make um, why wouldn't I try a challenge language challenge and challenge myself with learning one language in four months but it's not to bullshit um, I'm not from those oh I learned uh, I don't know French in three months or so and those kind of videos but actually a language that can be learned faster than other languages because it's it doesn't have irregular verbs um, it has only one past tense one present tense one future tense it's um, everything is regular in it uh, there are no exceptions that you need to learn and that you are and for which you're looking uh, ridiculous if you don't know them no uh, why because this is a constructed language and it's Esperanto um, a lot of people in polyglot groups don't like Esperantists because Esperantists uh, some of them tend to speak only in Esperanto to other polyglots to other uh, language speakers who don't speak Esperanto or they come to to uh, a new buy in Esperanto and go with full-blown Esperanto and um, yeah it's it's uncom uncomfortable so yes um, why am I going to learn Esperanto because I want to know I just want to know another language and uh, Esperanto is uh, it's not difficult um, if you know who is Zamenhof uh, Zamenhof is creator of Esperanto and he based it uh, on European languages uh, I forgot how it uh, where exactly is uh, bits and pieces from let's say Germanic languages, Slavic languages, Romance languages you know uh, so uh, I had experience with all three groups of languages with learning them and speaking them so um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be hard for me so why not four months from now actually I'm not sure if I will melt this video with the progress in Esperanto with I mean with final part with final video um doesn't matter i will see so four months esperanto wish me luck <laughs>